What is this mystery tool I found at an estate sale? It's a pair of pliers with a brush on one of the handles, and no writings of any kind. Around 18 centimeters long, or just over 7 inches. I tried Google searches with no luck. Any ideas? It's a champagne bottle wire cutter and brush from the 19th century. This bottle opener is in the form of steel pliers for cutting the wire holding the cork. The serrated end to one handle is for cutting the foil, and a brush to remove any bits from the neck of the bottle. Sometime this summer, I bought this wooden duck with a slot in its back at Goodwill. Does anyone know what the purpose of this slot is? It looks like it was made to hold something, but I cannot wrap my head around what its intended purpose is. Thanks in advance. It's a mallard duck match holder, made in Taiwan in the 1970s. It holds long matches in its back with a match striker under the beak. He's made of wood with a lacquer finish and glass eyes. My grandmother had one just like it, and it had a box of very long fireplace matches that exactly fit into the back. What is this tool I found while cleaning up my father-in-law's garage after he passed away? He was in the garage door installation business, if that helps. Can anyone tell me what this is? It's a clamp from a pipe hanger beam flange bracket, used to hang pipes off of an I-beam. Here's a complete set on eBay for 199 US dollars. It was made by the Grobler Manufacturing Company, a maker of pipe fittings in New York City, circa the early to mid 20th century. What is this wooden commemorative ship's bell container thingy? I found this in a thrift shop today in Australia. It stands just over a handspan high, is quite weighty, and is made from solid wood staves and bound in EPNS metal, I'm guessing. It is very well made, with a solid push opening mechanism at the front and a white ceramic insert inside. There are some very small scraps of fabric and glue on the base, so I'm guessing it had some kind of felt base. The best guesses around the family are an ice bucket or a humidor, but I would really appreciate any better ones. I'm looking forward to someone figuring it out. It's a 19th century English oak biscuit box, in the form of a bell. They were quite popular at one time, and they'd have that shield engraving on the front. I would suspect it was made by John Grinsell or Daniel and Arter, who were the two most famous makers of this combination of wood and plate. What is this two-chambered brass container from a collection of a guy with several older firearms, including some European hunting rifles? It smells like gin oil or machinist oil, and it has Greek or Cyrillic writing, different on each side. I'm pretty sure it's firearm related, I grew up with a gun nut for a dad so I know the smells of maintenance. On one side you can see a light oil residue inside, the other side seems dry. Any ideas? It's a Cold War era Yugoslavian Mauser oil bottle, commonly used with the Yugo M48 Mauser. One compartment is for a solvent, and the other is for an oil. Back then, powders were typically corrosive to the firearm parts. Firearms needed to be cleaned after firing corrosive ammunition, and a solvent then lubricant was typically utilized. What is this vintage copper box with handles and some sort of warming tray inside and foldable legs? My wife found it at a thrift store, around 16 by 5 by 3 inches. It also appears to have some sort of lining, maybe lead. Any ideas what it is and what it was used for? It's an antique medical instrument steam sterilizer box, dating to around 1900 and made by the Wilmot Castle and Company in Rochester, New York. The company manufactured, among other things, the Arnold Steam Cooker, a popular home cooking device. Professor Herbert Eugene Smith of Yale University modified the cooker to become a steam sterilizer for use in laboratory work. The atmospheric steam device, now called the steam sterilizer, was widely used by dentists, surgeons and physicians, as well as the pharmaceutical and other allied industries. What is this mystery charity shop object, found in a charity shop in Scotland, marked as a mystery object for £5? 
about 12 centimeters, made of brass, and it says Nimrod on it. It looks like a desktop oil lighter without its housing. I'm just wondering if anyone has a clue. Reloader here. This is an antique hand primer and deprimer. The pin on the left pushes out a spent primer from a shotgun shell, or rifle, or pistol case, although this one looks shotgun size to me. The piece on the right is a primer. You place the deprimed shell on top, place a primer in the new hole you made with the pin, and press down with the lever, and the little wedge presses on the primer without setting it off to seat it in the shell. This example is probably from the turn of the 20th century, and Nimrod is a brand selling hunting stuff. Can anyone help me find this New Zealand nurse from World War I? The letter is from an Egypt hospital. She and my relative were both from New Zealand. I know of a New Zealand website that lets you search for documents and other stuff, but the trouble is trying to read her name. Thanks in advance for your help. It has pretty limited information. Usually military letters say what location or battalion they are attached to and the date it was. I'm guessing a relative of yours died, and the nurse is letting your family know. Once I figured out the first letter was a K, it all fell into place. I am fairly certain this is your nurse. Her name is Mabel Eliza Kittlety. She's from Auckland. This family photo was taken in 1900 when Mabel was 10. She is probably the young girl on the left. She married Percy James North in 1919, and they have two children, Eveline and Betty North. She died at the age of 89 on June 24th, 1969. There is a well-researched Kittlety family tree on Ancestry.com that you can contact if you have an account, or I can try to put you in touch with them. What is this threaded steel tool with a handle at one end and a rotating tip at the other? This tool was found at a thrift store and it has no visible branding or serial numbers. It is approximately two feet long, half smooth steel, and half threaded steel rod. The threaded end has an arrowhead shaped piece at the tip that rotates freely with no apparent mechanism to lock it into place. There is an additional piece with two small handles that are threaded onto the bar behind the tip and rotate freely. There is a handle on one end shaped out of steel and either welded or screwed on. This thrift store find is baffling us. The closest guess we have come up with is a flanging tool, but we haven't found any conclusive proof, including reverse image searches. Any ideas? Please let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.